Bloxburg just updated, adding a whole range of kid-themed items. So in today's video, I'm building a nursery daycare in Bloxburg. I'm talking classrooms, bedrooms, playrooms, the whole shebang. So let's get started. Okie dokie. I actually have no plan for the exterior of this. We're kind of just going to roll with the punches. And I'm actually going to make it pretty big because I want there to be room for 100 toddlers in here. Now we get to do a little bit of playing around with the roofs. So if you didn't know, I love the slanted roof. If you don't know what that is, it's this one. I love doing a mismatch roof. Notice how I've actually made it come out a little bit at the front. That's because we are going to be using rainbow pillars. Instead of stacking pillars on each other like this and then having to do it over and over again, wasting time, I advise actually just resizing the original pillar. And it's just little things like this that save a bunch of time. Please, no one ask me the order of the rainbow. I have not the foggy. Clue. As long as we do pastels. And now you probably thought I was a master roof maker after that. Look at that. But really I'm not. The rest I think is going to be an extended suburban roof. I'm kind of faking it here. You're faking a fraud. Who remembers the days where you had to build suburban roofs like this? Because these little arrows didn't exist. If you wanted an overhang, you had to do it yourself. The only reason I'm doing an overhang myself here is because I don't want it to go and intrude into this roof. We're then going to just add wall trims. And now it's time to select the window. And you really think about it. There's not actually that many windows these days. But I'm going for an ultra modern daycare. We're moving into 2024 soon, people. In 2024, I turn 18. 18? That is so old. I'm not ready to be 18. And then some of you guys are probably watching and you're like, eight. I'm so jealous of you. Anyway, over here, I'm actually using... These are sleek pivoting doors. These aren't actually windows. But using these as windows is actually quite a good idea, isn't it? And this line in between here is annoying. Me. If you ever have anything that is just making you feel so mad, <laughs> just put a structural item in between. Okay. And we've got to make the door really like cute and inviting for the little toddlers come into the nursery. I think the commercial door, I know it's my only option. Now you guys get the gist of the windows. I'm just going to place the rest around. We should also probably decide on the fences that are going to go out here. We probably shouldn't have spikes because what if like one of the toys lands on there? What if one of the babies lands on the spike? So I'm just going to add these sensible wooden ones. The back garden of this place is actually going to be pretty big because look at some of the new items please. Look at this! We can make like a whole kingdom in the bedroom. I'm so excited. We also have like these little toys for like races. But yes, we'll cross the back bridge when we come to it. But just before we go inside to do all that stuff, we need to do the front. So like I said, I think it would be kind of cool over here to have like a parking station for all of the new toys. These are so cute. And I'm sorry, we all had one of these little cars when we were little. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit too many. I always build in the most stupid orders. <laughs> but there we go. It's worked out in the end. Each one should be a different colour as well. These kind of look like those squashy sweets. Oh, I could eat some of them right now. But I suppose we should at least give these like a little pathway to get out. We'll have some grass here. And why not, for good measure, throw a pond in. You can never go wrong with a pond. That's what my grandmother always used to say. And this can be for like a special day out for the kids. You can bring them out and they can like fish frogs out the pond or something. Thing. Last off, I'm adding a car park so the parents can actually <laughs> drop off the kids because I don't think kids can quite drive yet. It might take a little bit of a long time to drive to daycare in one of those. Oh my god. I love this exterior. The last stage is the gardening section. That is going to involve some stepping stones. I love stepping stones. They're nice. They're different. They're unusual. And it's the return of the cherry blossom trees. It's been a moment since I've used these. Let's bring them back. I love how I said finally and then I've just continued to add like 10 more things. Last off, I'm adding a car park. But I can't resist adding some like fountains here. And the final stage is some fence gates so that you can actually get in to the blooming property which is exactly where we're going now in the property so the layout oh my gosh <gasps> As per, you're going to have a reception. And off here can be the toilet. And off here can be the stairs. This room, I think, should be the playroom. And this should be the classroom. And then if we think the stairs are going to come here. Up here, we're going to have always bedroom here, girls bedroom here. And then the nurse's office. And I always like to exit build mode. Because look, if you try to colour the walls. Why is it colouring this side? What are you doing over here? Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> so just exiting and re-entering build mode. Fixes that. And ta -da! However, we're actually not going to start downstairs. We're going to be starting 
playing with the bedrooms. This here is going to be the boys' bedroom, and I already know exactly what I want to do in it. So I don't think Blocksburg actually has cloud, but what they do have is decal. So three guesses to what I'm going to be putting on the walls. Eureka! It's a cloud! This is going to be like the feature wall where all the beds are going against. To make it really feel like a bedroom, I'm going to do double layered linen. Oh, let's try that again. That looks scarily bad. So ah, let's go into the new section. Look at this bed. Okay, so what I think we should do is there should be like a kid of the month, kind of like employee of the month or star of the week. And they get to sleep in the castle bed. So we'll decorate that in just a minute. And the rest of the kids, I mean, they still get rocket ship beds. It's not like they're having a sleeping bag on the floor. Gosh, this is actually the coolest update I've ever seen. This right here is my favorite thing. Ever. No way. A Star Salem fan? Although, where are the stars? I thought it would project stars. And I'm actually going to custom build this bedside table. And we're going to have them as cylinders. Because you know what shape a planet is? A cylinder. Bombastic side eye. And I'm not being sexist at all here. I just love the color scheme. And I've picked blue for boys. They have new stars. Star pillows? Are you kidding me? Oh, they do look cute though, the stars, don't they? And also, I did forget wall trims. Using these fancy ones though, I think they go quite well. And now we can make the master bed. <gasps> this is the kind of thing people used to custom make. And I think that's the thing with Blocksburg. They add things that people have been making for years, but it just makes it so much easier. I think underneath it, should we put a wardrobe? I'm sorry, I would be the star people of the week just to get my own wardrobe. And this is very like Encanto, Enchanted vibes, isn't it? Oh yeah, and I literally forgot about these bedside tables we were just doing. And even the lamps are rockets. They should have just called this the rocket update, the Elon Musk update. And this is the coolest dorm room I've ever seen. Jesus. And this is a mirror? I just placed this so casually, but it's a mirror. So I don't want to baby them too much, but if we go into baby and kids, we're going to add a couple of these toys. Because at nursery, you're about four years old. Like, you're not too old. And I kind of want enough- Jesus! I didn't realise the price of this. But you know what I'm like, guys? I just forget about the price tag in Bloxburg. I forget about the price tag. And without making it all blue, I've got to try and make the colour schemes match. And by the way, guys, if it sounds like a thunderstorm is breaking loose in the background of my audio, it's because it is. English weather at the moment is not the vibe. Like, it's not the vibe. Stop! So that's the actual kind of sleeping arrangements done. I might also... Oh my gosh! Memory unlocked! It's Bloxburg Town! That is so smart! We're going back to that in one second. What I was about to say before I just had an aneurysm is that this over here, why don't you get like your own private little seating area as well? And I might make it pink, you know, we don't want everything blue. But anyway, anyway, back to this. This is perfect. So we're obviously going to have some of these in the play area, which is underground. But I think we should have some in the bedroom too. And if I'm remembering correctly, yes, we literally have cars so we can put these on them, like going down the Bloxburg Street. I reckon we should designate this as like, you have like an hour of playing before bed. Most of the time, I go to bed so early and all my friends mock me for it. They're like, why the hell are you in bed? It's eight o'clock. Comment down below, guys. What time do you go to bed? I bet all of you go to bed at like 1 a.m. That's just what people do these days. And then finally, since this is kind of a boarding place, we need wardrobes. And did they add a desk? No way they added a desk as well. This is where you can get your homework done. This is giving Ben and Holly's little kingdom. No, with Nanny Plum. This is outrageous. Right. Who else watched that? Isn't it giving that? And I've just discovered another new one. These stars. Maybe we could have them over the top of like the bed. Um, Rolls Royce who? The last thing I'm going to add in here is some toys just left on the floor. And my favorite one, the platypus. That is the bedroom done. Next of all, I want to go downstairs and I want to do the classroom. I build in such a random order. But honestly, I think you guys like it because it's just a little bit more exciting. Like, you don't know what room's coming next. I am actually going to probably start crying when building this. Oh, my God. I can't. Because the amount of nostalgia I'm going to get. Like, just look at these pictures, guys. Doesn't that bring you back so many memories? So... I did get a sneak peek of these earlier. These are so cute. Over here is going to definitely be like the storage station. And I don't know what class this is going to be. Maybe it should just be like math slash art. And they've honestly colored these perfectly. If I just change the color of the wood. So for art class, we've got some Play-Doh. I used to make 
big piles of poo out of play-doh who else did that perhaps this side of the classroom is more of like the creative arts this is where those kids who want to be the next vincent van gogh are gonna be and then the teacher can just be perched at the end and the temptation to give the teacher this chair and you can just tell this teacher is definitely everybody's favorite in addition to all this something schools do which is actually really cute is display all of the kids artwork even if it's really bad <laughs> like i remember once they displayed my art and it was literally Literally, like the most ugly thing and honestly I felt so famous I was like guys I just I don't like being a celebrity and we're not done with this room yet but I do think we should maybe add a divider and if you think I'm not using these planets just as planets not even a mirror you're mistaken and of course in art class it gets so messy art class is basically just an excuse to throw paint at each other so we are gonna have a little sink station over here the little kids can wash their hands maybe we should have some splat <laughs> I sound like the Bloxburg News Channel. And it's the return of those pastel ribbons from the front. And I think that is actually pretty good for the art class. It looks as busy as it can get. Now the maths class. Oh, babes. This is where you're really going to have to be focusing at age four. So we're obviously going to have the minuscule little tables. They are so small. Like if we compare it to a musical noob. And up on top of each one. Do they even have pencils? Lettering practice set. Okay. Maybe this isn't maths anymore. Maybe it's English. And it really doesn't matter the order of these. If anything, it actually looks better when it's random. And then rather than artwork on the walls over here, we'll have some English or maths equations, whatever this ends up being. And then I'm going to do a little building hack. Put a door that goes into nothing. It fills up spaces so nicely. And this can just be an imaginary cupboard under the stairs. For this room, I'm just using plain saucer lights, which are going in no particular order. This looks splendid so far. And it actually leads really nicely onto the garden. For the floor, we're going to actually have wooden decking and it's going to be proper nice wood as well like you're at a beach hut or something leaving the rest to be a vibrant grass who else remembers i can't remember what it was called was it called like a jungle gym or a nature trail i literally can't remember it's basically those fun little obstacle courses you had kind of like obbies in blocksburg yeah i was thinking for the first bit we could just have a couple of these and i don't know what that was i just built Let's pretend you guys didn't see me make that. Then we can have a bridge, which is probably going to be going over nothing. And then we should so build a hopscotch. Do you know how we're going to get one? Is if we make a small cube and then put a decal. Um, this is the only one I could find. It looks rather interesting, to be honest. And then as a treat at the end, we're going to put the big swing and slide. And also, I should have probably boarded this off at the start. It looks much nicer like that. Finally, a couple other things we can have around the outside are rock climbing walls over here. We're obviously not going to have them like so high or this nursery would probably get sued and then each place is going to be a different little activity section so over here yes that does look like a venn diagram but no this is going to be the little hula hoop section for people who want to do some hula hooping over here is people who want to start gym early yeah then that's actually a funny story when i was little instead of lifting weights my mum would only let me lift cans of beans <laughs> And these here, guys, they're not exercise bikes. They're those fun things you get in playgrounds. You know, like the gym equipment in playgrounds, which isn't really gym equipment. I feel like I also never add these string lights anymore. So why not as a nice little hurrah at the end of this back garden? Let's add some string lights. And next up, let's do the reception. More of a serious room, I suppose. So I kind of want the floor in here to be a little bit different. Herringbone wood. Oh la la. And I like it when it's doubled up as well. This front end entrance has got to be very very inviting because this is obviously where the parents might come on an open day to decide if their kids want to come here and if the kids see color when they walk in they're going to be like mommy mommy take me here For the counter i'm probably just going to do one of my bog standard ones your basic counter your basic and i'm sorry even the reception workers are going to be getting thrones along the back i'm adding this really nice bookcase unit and also i've just fathomed i haven't been using potted plants in forever i love these and I haven't used them. Right, they're returning in this reception. Tell you that for free. And not to repeat myself, but that cloud idea is too good not to reuse. This is just going to be more of a serious seating for parents. And I do like the default colour of this, actually. I might just make it, like, green. So I don't like the default colour then. We can't forget to actually add the door into the toilets. And, oh my gosh, I've just realised these toilets might have to go a little smaller. And if a wall is ever not letting you put it 
it there, guys. Delete the wall that's in the way. Place the new wall and then control Z and it will let you place it. That's one of my favorite building hacks. And I just want to keep it minimalistic. So I'm going to hide the lights underneath the roof beams. And since this upstairs hallway is basically reception, I did a similar thing. And guys, we only have a couple of rooms left. So I think you've all been waiting for the playroom. This is going to be the funnest room of them all. So we're actually going to get a little bit crazy here. The theme of this is actually going to be kitchen. You might be thinking, Reese's, what do you mean kitchen? And how is that going to be a theme? Yes, wait, chickens. Okay, so the first step of any great kitchen is to do tiles. Marble tiles, which we can even continue into the bathroom, actually, because that suits bathrooms and kitchens. Oh, you might be wondering, is this the new set for Gordon Ramsay? Get out of the way. No, it's not. It's actually Mary Berry's cooking show. No, no, no. It's not anyone's. So on here, this is going to have all of the ingredients on. Remember, this is a playroom. So all of this food is going to be fake. We're then going to use these trays again. Which I don't think you can actually put things in them. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. <gasps> what? I mean, it is all disappearing like a magic. Again, it's all fake. And that's because, and that's because this has been in the game for ages. But this is going to be a cooking day. Normally, the playroom will be for anything. But today, it's cooking. So each person is going to get their own stove top. And then you're thinking, what's going to go over here, Reese's? What's this table? Well, I'm glad you asked. This table over here is going to be the cashier. And you guys are probably so confused right now. But <laughs> I'm, I'm going to explain it in one second. So, hmm, what could this be? We have a place that looks like a cashier. Kitchens. What could we have at the last bit? Finally, we're having shelves with some ingredients on it. Okay, I don't really like puzzles, so I'm just going to explain what's going on here. Like I said, it's the cooking day. So, the first thing you're going to do is role play going to the supermarket. What did they just add? Baby trolleys. Then somebody will be role playing as a cashier who will scan it for you. Then you're going to do the cooking and whoever wins will win like a cake or something. And that's pretty much the playroom done. I just love how it's a very specific vibe. So obviously, lastly, in here's the bathroom or the bathroom, as you might say, if you're from up north in England. And we're not going to add a shower because it's a nursery, not a home. And although you might think I'll add the planet mirror in here, I actually think this should be more of a normal room. Just in case, I'm going to add a couple seats in here in case the parents want to watch. Last but not least, we have two more rooms, although technically one more room because because the girl's bedroom is exactly the same as the boy's, but you'll see the slight differences I made when we do the tour in a second. But the very last room is the nurse's office. So the reason that the nurses is in the school is because, because sadly, when you're like very young, you can actually get ill more easily. And also ignore like this heavenly light. I will be changing that when we go in. It's gonna be pretty bog standard in here. The kind of thing you'd expect, like cabinets and counters. It does have to be a little serious, although there are crazy colors in here. So we'll have some medicine up here. And oh my gosh, no, the Halloween update is gone. So I don't think we even have potions anymore. <gasps> Guys, I literally forgot to stock up on everything. I'm so stupid, but it's fine. We can also have some towels in case you just need to be dabbed. But the last thing we're adding in here in the middle is just in case things take a turn for the worse, we're going to add a hospital bed. And this is where the nurse or the doctor can act immediately. And then just here will be all the tools needed for operating. Obviously, we'll also have a couple of like x-ray paintings in here, which all of a sudden can Includes the nursery. Let's go look around it. Okay, Reese's Cups, here we are outside of today's build. And this is actually a 360 build today, which sometimes my builds do look like a flop from the back. So it's lovely that this one doesn't. And just before we look around, this plot values are under $400,000. But now it's really time to look around. So this is the front garden. Obviously, we have the car park. But over here, this is where the magic starts. <laughs> I did not think I'd be able to get in here. Oh my gosh. I want to do the rest of the tour in there. First things first as we go into this beautiful daycare. <gasps> I just want to take a deep breath when I see this. <laughs> It's so beautiful. So you're going to check in here if you are obviously coming in just for the day. Be like, hi, yes, register me, please. But the color scheme in here is honestly a fab Favorite room that kids are probably going to go in most is the playroom and also the toilet. Little kids need the toilet all the time. Yeah, you can just go in here. Oh, where have I just gone? There I am. So you'd go in here, you do your business. And then I really like this soap dispenser. So let's pretend we've just come in to play class. And the first step is doing some shopping. I want to take this. Excuse me, can I buy this place? Then whoever sat here is going to bag it up for you in a money bag, apparently. Oh, 
Sorry, forgot to change that. Buy one, get one free. <gasps> really? I get this bag of money twice? So then you're going to take that over to your little stand. And this is where you're going to start cooking. And Mary Berry's going to come over. She's going to be like, how are you doing, Reese? And sorry, since when could you actually use the groceries? And if you need some help, then you'd watch the demonstration at the front. And the other room downstairs is the classroom. This is where you're probably going to be spending a bit more of your time. So I can't actually sit on these because I'm too large. We do have some pretty swag paintings. And then look at the art, guys. Sorry, look how good this class is at doing artwork. Especially this one. And also, it's not just art. Like, we can also use some Play-Doh. And then after class, you're obviously going to wash your hands. And then another fun thing schools love doing is outside. And that's why I added this play area. So, shall we see if we can complete the obby, guys? Oh, it's not as triggering as Rainbow Obby. My enemy is Rainbow Obby. Oh, my gosh. Hopscotch, hopscotch. Woohoo! Over here, we have the rock climbing wall, but don't actually climb out of school, guys. Stay in school, Bobs. I hate lazy people. Bobs, stay in school. We also have hula hoops, the little training things. Don't know why this one isn't colored. That is a glitch, okay? I colored this. I did. And after that busy day, oh gosh, you're going to be bound to be tired. So you're going to head upstairs because this nursery, you can actually stay overnight. So this is the girls one. And by the way, just because it's pink and blue does not mean that is girls and boys colors. These are the normal beds. And then we've got the play area which I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed with. In the girls one, a slight change I made is makeup. But again, boys can use makeup if they want. Then the wardrobes. And of course, the star of the week gets this bed. I'm sorry, you'd actually feel like a queen sleeping up here. And the slide. Oh my gosh, it does actually work, even though it's hard to get to the top. And in here, you can actually go for a secret dinner date under the castle, which is sick. Then the boys' bedroom is a similar sort of story. Although we have a wardrobe instead. More beds and then the play area. And finally, if you fall off your giant king-size bed. I've fallen and I can't get up. Then you'll be heading to the nurse. The nurse in the nursery. Ooh. So let's hope you haven't smashed your ribs or anything like that. So yeah, you'd sit here, you'd lay in the bed. Or maybe, like I used to do. And I don't advise this. But I used to pretend to be sick so I could leave class early. And that was the end of the day. If you guys did have a fun time watching this video and are new to the channel, make sure to drop a subscribe. Thank you to everybody who watched this. And I'll see you all in the next one.